step-by-step -step math series presents Simplifying Square Roots. A simplified square root is a radical where all the perfect squares are removed from the radical. We've seen radicals before, something like this, in the square root of 12. The symbol is the radical. In this case, there is no index. And if there is no index, a number that's usually in this corner, we assume it's a 2. So the square root of 12 is what we want to simplify. But before we do that, we need to know a little bit about perfect squares. Oh well, uh, we start off with 1 square and 2 square and 3 square and 4 square and 5 square and just keeps on going. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. And when we deal with simplifying radicals, or in this case specifically square roots, we don't use the 1 square. We use the 4, the 9, the 16, the 25, and, the, and, and it keeps on going, of course. So we want to know if there is a 4 inside this 12 somehow. Well, there is, because I can break down this 12 into 4 times 3. And there's these rules in radicals where I can separate the 4 and the 3 this way, square root of 4 and square root of 3, and I can see now that the square root of 4 is 2, square root of 3. That's where it says right here, where it, where it talks about removing, remove the perfect square. Well, this is the perfect square and I removed it. In this case it's a 2. Square root of 3. That's the answer. Um, but 12 is an easy problem and there is no structure. This sounds like you know trial and error haphazard. What about if I had the square root of 150? What should I do then? Well there are um, these things called uh, prime numbers. They start off with uh, 2, and the next one starts off with 3, not a 4, uh, 5, not a 6, 7, not an 8, not a 9, not a 10, but an 11 keeps on going. And these prime numbers can help us break down the 150. And so I'm going to take 150, which is not a prime number, and I'm going to break it down. Now if you want to know more about prime numbers and how to break down these numbers, these are composites, it's called prime factorization. Yeah, you can look at the other video on prime factorization. But let's break down this 150. I know 2 will go into 150 75 times. You can use your calculator if you want. And I know that um, uh, Maybe you don't know 3 goes into 75, but it does because um, 75, if you take 75 and you add the two digits, that gives you 12. And 3 will go into 12 nicely. So that means 75 uh, can be broken down um, with this 3. So 3 does go into 75. question is how much? Well, it's 25. And here I'm going to stop because I found a perfect square. So 150 can be broken down into 25 times 2 times 3. And there's that perfect square. Now with those rules of radicals I can break down even further where I'm going to take the square root of 25 and then the square root of 2 times 3. We know what the square root of 25 is, it's going to be 5. And the rest just stays inside the radical. 2 times 3 is 6. How about one more example? How about the square root of 60? Okay, so how do we break down 60? Well, let's write it over here. 60. I know 2 will go into 60 30 times. I know 2 will go into 30 15 times. And I know that 3 will go into 15, because I know 2 doesn't. 3 will go into 15. Where did I get that 3? Well, from here, that's the next number. 3 will go into 15 five times. 
Now this one looks kind of different. Here we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, which makes 60. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 15 does give me 60. But there is no perfect square. Well, you have to make them. You know, here it is, 2 times 2, which is 4. So we can rewrite this as 4, square root of 3 times 5, which is 15. And we know what the square root of 4 is, right? Which is 2, square root of 15. And that's your answer. So you could, you know, um, do this by trial and error. You know, whatever number, break it down into um, its perfect squares, if there is any. And then, you know, just keep on going. Or you can be more systematic and use prime factorization, break down the numbers, and then uh, put them together as perfect squares and do your math.